Hello again. Um, first of all, I want to apologise for the sound quality or lack thereof. Um, I've got a new laptop and I have no idea how to improve it, or even if I can. So I might have to invest in a microphone of some kind at some point. So just turn me off if it's too annoying. It's fine. Um, so as promised, if you watched my introduction video and could put up with the sound quality, the buzzing, then you will know that I read this book, The Medusa Amulet, last year, and I enjoyed it. Um, I bought it, um, you know, I didn't plan to buy it, just bought it um, in Asda in one of their, like, three for five pounds, I think it is, deals, um, along with some Peter James books, which I loved. Um, and yeah, it's not the sort of thing I'd usually read, it's kind of historical fiction, but oh, I can't think what it's called, rewriting history, basically. Um, I found it tricky to get into to start with because um, of the multiple narrators, and I wasn't sure who was narrating at certain times, even though they speak completely differently to each other, but there must there must be something that wasn't consistent because I found it a bit tricky to start with, but I, pr I what's the word, proceeded to read on and I'm glad I did because it, I really enjoyed it. it um, there's something, something about it that I really liked, maybe it was the kind of influence of the past and the present, that kind of theme, or the romance, which was alright, wasn't predictable, um, yeah, so the, the main premise of the story is um, art historian David Franco, um, he works in a library or university or something in Chicago, um, he's um, his sister is terminally ill, she's dying of cancer, hasn't got long to live. Um, a wealthy woman approaches David Franco, um, um, asking him if he'd be interested in finding something called the Medusa Amulet, which was allegedly made by um, Cellini in um, 1500s in Florence. Um, yeah, so he has to weigh up his options, decide whether he wants to go all over the world, um, finding this, I think he only goes to France and Italy actually, but finding, to find this amulet, um, you have to read it to find out whether he does or not, and what, you know, who this lady is, why she wants it, um, what the repercussions are when he finds it. Um, we meet some some interesting characters to say the least. Um, ones that stand out in my mind are Marie Antoinette. We see a different side of her, um, which is interesting because I've only ever seen her portrayed as a monster, basically. Um, and we meet Hitler uh, in the present day, sort of, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. So it is it is quite far fetched but I I really I really enjoyed the plot. You know, it was well paced. There weren't any stagnant parts where I thought, oh I can't read anymore. I wanted to know what happened, I cared about the characters, especially um Franco's love interest, Olivia. She was awesome. She is feisty, she knows what she wants, she's intelligent, you know, she she wants something, she gets it, she does it. Um, fuck everyone else, you know. And not in a horrible way, but just kind of in a I can do what I want way, which I quite admire, and I wish I could be like that sometimes. Um, yeah, so she, she's probably my favourite character. Um, I do like my strong, my strong female characters. Um, I 
I, w I did like the main character, David, but he didn't seem, there wasn't much depth to him. You know, we don't find out much about his past or, you know, but I suppose it's not really relevant to the, to the story and wouldn't really have added anything, so, you know, I'll do with it. But yeah, so if you like inaccurate <laughs> historical fiction, then give this a go. If you like mysteries, sort of, um, if you like what else? Maybe thrillers, kind of historical thrillers. Um, there's a bit of violence in there, which is always a win with me. Um, some blood, some dissolving bodies in acid in the bathtub, um, broken noses, stuff like that. Oh, and invisibility. Um, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's all come back to me now. Yeah, read this book. It's good. You like it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be quiet now. Bye.